not feeling the best, but that's what you get when you're trying to push your body. I'm pushing myself, so that's why it's so hard. And my body, I just need a change. So we need to push it out of its comfort zone a little bit and then see what happens. So stay along for the experiment and the challenge that I'm on here. And so far, so good. And being a little sick is worth it. So let's go. I made it back home and I feel a lot better. I got dizzy and nauseous in the car on the way here, so I had to kind of drive a little slow and pull over, but I feel a lot better now and I'm excited for the results at the end of this challenge that I'm doing for myself. And we're gonna get the results that we want. That is just, that's, that's the attitude. That's the motivation we need. That's the motivation I need anyway. So I feel good. I'm going to take a bath. I took some magne I'm going to take some magnesium and um, maybe a protein shake. Mm. So yeah, I feel better. I'm excited. Mrs. We're looking to get an espresso shot in a cold drink. Do you have any drinks like that? We've just never tried espresso in any drink before. Sure, can we do that? With Can you make it dairy free? Dairy free, yep. Yeah. Is it without ice? Please, okay. yeah. Free milk only has a certain protein eliminated from the milk, therefore, it's still dairy. <clears throat> um, it's just most people are allergic to this pro certain protein, so they take it out, and then the majority of people who are dairy free, lactose free, don't experience IBS symptoms anymore. Usually, it takes a while for the symptoms to hit me, but right now, I just have simple headache, a little dizzy, I'm nauseous. So, like, my stomach is sticking out. Like, it just gets very bloated and painful. It'll go down in, like, 20 minutes. But <clears throat> if you're experiencing this, don't drink lactose for milk. So, tomorrow, I will probably have IBS, but mind over matter sometimes. I'm going to try and detox with some lemon water and some greens later and usually that can kind of revert the pain so <clears throat> tip lactose free milk is not dairy free milk almond milk cashew milk coconut milk soy milk all those milks are dairy free remember your specific orders it is saturday morning i'm on my way to the market i'm gonna go get some salmon i really want to make my own because I, the salmon I make I love and I really think that maybe somebody else might like it as well. Let's go to the market. $12. 
Thank you. Hi. Do you guys have any gluten free bread left? You do? Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'll try the buckwheat. Yeah. delicious they look. Mm -hmm. That is just such a nice color too. I used the Earth's own dairy-free butter. I got it for 50% off as you can see. That's how I can afford to eat this way. You go to the stores on the right day and they have markdowns. If you don't want it only 20% off, go the next day it might be 30% off and go the next day it might be 40 or 50% off. So I got it for 50% off. That butter is mostly oils. It's not going to go bad past its expiry date. It still will be good until there's mold on it. Trick for how to eat. Okay, I have my farm fresh made breakfast with farm fresh eggs, organic buckwheat flour bread, and a lovely little smoothie. Up. Here's my market haul. I went to the market this morning, as you know, in the previous scenes, and I was very hungry, so I ate. I got some farm fresh organic eggs. They are beautiful. They are huge. Look at that size egg. This is $5 for this whole cart of eggs. I got some chicken. It is no preservatives, nothing um, has been put on it that has pesticides. It's I got some of this yummy, beautifully colored salmon. This is more so the color of your salmon, or even darker than this, because if your salmon is super pink, super, super pink, even red almost, there's some dye in it. I got some broccoli. Yummy! Our cruciferous vegetables are very good for fighting many things in the body. So if your stomach can handle broccoli, try and eat broccoli. And try not to cook it too much, but enough because it can be harsh on your belly. I got some sourdough bread. Um, I cannot eat sourdough bread, but my partner can. And so I get this bread for them. And I get this. Um, this is sourdough. This is buckwheat flour. Um, gluten free, dairy free, sugar free bread. This is what I can eat. Buckwheat flour is a good bread to have, like to make your bread out of. It's a good flour to make your bread out of. But it's not my favorite, but I do love the taste. So yeah, this is my um, market haul. I did want to say, um, make sure when you're eating, you're eating enough food. I had three eggs. I didn't eat all of the eggs, but I did have bread and a smoothie with a banana and a half. So I definitely have my carbs and my proteins and that I needed for breakfast. Um, it's very important. You don't want to under eat. There's some things that can happen when you do that and you need to make sure that you are um, nutritionalized, if that's a word. Like, have your nutrition. Don't be scared of fats. I'm going to make a longer video about this one day and more informative for you, but just try your hardest not to under eat. Um, 
isn't just as dangerous, if not more of a danger as overeating. So this is our market haul. Yay! All these yummy foods. Can't wait to show you the dinners we're gonna make.